A new kind of uh, therapy is uh, in town, cinema therapy. Apparently creating films or even just watching them can save you hours on this psychologist uh, coach. I-24 News cultural correspondent Shahal Beled went to treatment Spielberg style. Psychology out. Make way for a new kind of therapy, this time using a camera. When you go to a regular uh, psychologist, you have to talk about it. You have to address the issues very directly. And with uh, this type of work, it will, it's all projective. It's much easier. The use of cinematographic methods as therapeutic tools allows a great impact of imagery, plot and music on the psyche for inspiration and emotional release. Sharon Israel, a video therapist, works with groups varying from troubled adolescents through minority communities to retired elderly populations. Video therapy uses video and filmmaking tools for treatment, education and community. Cinema therapy seeks the same goals but through film watching and they are usually combined together. Although considered relatively innovative in the field of psychotherapy, this treatment began taking shape half a century ago. Since the 60s, there is documentation of therapeutic projects which took place in Harlem in the United States. With an 8mm camera, everything was more complicated then. In an era in which watching TV and films might be considered sometimes harmful to children, this treatment channels the medium to positive aspects. In the special workshops, youth at risk can reflect their life experience through the movies and project their impressions and feelings in a unique way. Like art, music and dance therapy, the video therapy is also used as a form of self-help, as in Sharon's own case. My personal life story. I was a youngster at risk with a need over the years to find a tool that will help me look at myself in the environment and cinema and its nature is such. During video therapy sessions, the participants usually take part in an active filmmaking experience. These groups you can see behind me participating in the cinema video therapy session are trying to deal with their emotions, their feelings and their fears through cinema. But not all patients have to be filmmakers. Just sitting and watching a film can also raise emotions and insights. Making use of the transformational power certain films could have is another aspect of this method. I sent a patient to watch a certain film according to subjects which occupy him or he's stuck with, with hopes that the film would open more sides that are closer undeveloped, and it will be possible to go over them during treatment. As part of his cinema therapy center, Sharon also teaches others how video can be used as a form of supplemental therapy for medical and mental health issues. We try to prepare and professionalize those who are interested in this field. They come either from backgrounds of therapy through expression and creation, or traditional therapists like social workers and psychologists and, of course, filmmakers. So next time you watch a film, note that a conscience observation may support personal and spiritual growth. Apparently there's much to look for beyond the entertainment.